Hi, I'm Rich Torrey. Welcome to another Level Up Cartooning. All you ever need to follow along with me is a pencil and paper. It doesn't get any easier than that, right? Well, our month-long celebration of Halloween had to come to an end sometime. I really hate to see it go, as it's allowed us to pull some great characters out of the Disney and Disney-related crypt. Thoroughly enjoyable from the start for me. We started with the Amazing Witch from Snow White. Then it was on to the Horn King from the often forgotten Black Cauldron. And then we swerved into a few weeks of Skeletons. First, our scene from that first silly symphony, Skeleton Dance. And then last week, Ub Iwerks post-Disney redo of the Skeleton Dance, The Skeleton Frolic. This week, I thought we'd wrap up the month staying with our Disney theme and staying with characters that may or may not be familiar to you. We're going to go with Chernabog, the dark and frightening, all-powerful demon, half-gargoyle, half-mountain thingy from the finale of the 1940 Disney classic Fantasia called Night on Bald Mountain. A big hat tip to a regular at Level Up, Robert Carey, for suggesting this incredible character. I think what I love most about Chernabog and the night at Bald Mountain in general is that it's such a departure from all the classic Disney fare, especially at that time. Bambi, Dumbo, Pinocchio, Chernabog. Seriously? If you're not familiar with Fantasia, the Night at Bald Mountain segment, or Chernabog, well, I recommend you check it out. It's awesome. Anyway, I think Chernabog fits nicely into the cast of characters we've already collected this month. As with others, while I mainly focus on the drawing of the character Chernabog, it can be developed into a very cool scene for you to expand on, which I do at the end. One other thing, because of the details in Chernabog's face, as well as the size of his wings, I decided to draw those wings in a separate fourth segment, where I pan out a bit to give more room to finish the wings after completing the final details of our evil gargoyles head face and body i just want you to plan your page so you leave room for those wings okay but before we get started make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow and hit the bell so you never miss a lesson all right then let's draw the malevolent demon gargoyle whatever he is from fantasia's night on bald mountain chernabog <laughs> We're going to draw the evil Chernabog step by step, giving you the secret formula to be able to draw him again and again. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I normally use the character's head to figure out how big the entire character is. In this pose, the body of Chernabog, which consists really of his upper body, is only three heads tall, including his outstretched hand. In other words, however tall Chernabog's head is, his entire body is three of those. Also, to help you plan out your page when we go to draw in his wings, I use the height of his entire body to gauge how tall and wide to make those wings. They're roughly as tall as his body is, from waist to tip of his horn, and spread behind him, again roughly, as wide as the tip of his finger to the back of his body. I just want to give you some things to use when filling in that empty page with those wings. Anyway, what do you say we draw the roadmap for Chernabog from Fantasia's final scene, Night on Bald Mountain? So there's our roadmap for our wingless Chernabog. 
Before we go on to step two, I want to give you the roadmap for our evil demon, gargoyle, whatever, to screen grab. Just some things to help you envision how to lay out your drawing. Okay? Now on to step two. In this step, we do what I call roughing out the features. This is where we really begin to add some of those features that will make that last step much easier. I want to remind you that until the third and final step, you want to draw as light as possible. You'll see that I use guidelines to help me to know where to put Chernobog's eyes, nose, grimace, and some of the other things. We don't want those guidelines in the final drawing. So you want to draw them light enough to be able to erase them easily. Okay? So let's rough out the features of Chernabog. Okay, so there are the roughed out features of Chernobog and our scene from Night at Bald Mountain. So now with the roadmap done and the features roughed out, it's time for that final step, at least for the body of Chernobog, drawing in those final details. At this point, we don't have to guess where to put things because we've already figured that out in step two. Remember, we don't just mindlessly retrace over the lines we've already drawn. We want to always be thinking about how we might improve the line and the drawing as a whole until the very end. Okay, so let's draw in the details for our so far wingless Chernobog. Okay, so now with our creature complete, 
it's time to zoom out or pan out a little bit and put on those wings. In this step, I'm going to combine the roadmap, the rough out of the features, and the final details into one segment for the sake of expedience. Remember what I said in the beginning. His wings are roughly as tall as his body is from his waist to the tip of that top horn and spread behind him, again roughly, as wide as the tip of his finger to the back of his body. Oh, and they extend past that outstretched arm in front of him about the width of his horns. I hope that helps. Okay, so let's put on Chernabog's wings. And there you have it, the dark and malevolent Chernabog from Fantasia's final scene, Night on Bald Mountain. So how do you think you did? Understand if you've never drawn Chernabog before, you can't expect to have drawn his evilness perfectly. As I noted at the beginning, you notice I don't spend time coloring or finishing the swirl of evil spirits around Chernabog and Bald Mountain during this video because I want my lesson to focus specifically on drawing Chernabog. Now you have the secret formula, the process for drawing Chernabog from that final scene from Fantasia, Night on Bald Mountain. And with that, you can draw it again and again. And by all means, color it, shade it, and add a spooky background when you're done. I promise each time you draw it, it'll be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. So I'd love to see your version of Chernabog. As with last week's drawing, I encourage you to add your own spin on the spooky background and the swirl of spirits. Then, if you can, take a picture and post it on either Facebook or Instagram. And don't forget to include the hashtag Level Up Cartooning. I hope you've had as much fun with this month's spooky characters as I have. Remember to subscribe and thanks for joining me. Until next time, happy Halloween and keep drawing, my friends.